I know yeah, I had, I got you know, some sitting here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up for the little guy. <laughs> the bebop on. Um, how, how did y'all meet or come across Yo-Yo? And, 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 and you I know, put the whole thing together. Yo-Yo is my nigga. Word. Fuck Yo-Yo. Fuck Yo-Yo with a fucking thorn in my fucking side. Oh, shit. I'm, my bad. What? <laughs> nah. I had no idea, bro. All right. We ain't got to go there. Nah, I nah. don't know. I don't but know. In, 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 in retrospect, she came from my homeboy, Johnny J. So Johnny Johnny J was developing ice, um, okay. developing yo yo. Um, Johnny J and, and Candyman. So when she came sure. over to me, it was almost like I had to work on this model. It's like Tesla called me or Alpha Romero called me. I hate Alpha Romero, but if they called me, they I'll make me a bomb ass Alpha Romero. So that, that's how me and yo yo got together. We put our differences to the side and, and made a bomb. You know, I was like, we, woo. You know, you know what I'm saying? That, that was, Y'all made it, some magic, it, we, bro. We had to pull back the onions to, 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 make, you know, to make yo-yo. So that, that was very personal. Uh, we knew her mother. We, we knew everything about her. So uh, her mother was not allowing all that. Like, nah, yo-yo yo mama wasn't allowing uh, it to be ran any other way but the way Yo-Yo Mama wanted it to be ran. If you didn't want, if okay. you want to ran it some other way, don't tell your mama, Yo-Yo Mama to come. <laughs> okay. And Fair how enough. you going to tell um, Yo-Yo to say don't bring it but, but I'm not saying that her mom was ever right. like that. Her mom looked over for all of us. And I'm just saying, like, when people look at it and think Yo-Yo was rambunctious and out there and do 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 nah, 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 it wasn't like that. So the way we make it look, Yo-Yo, I'm not a ho no. That was even a problem with yo with uh, Yo-Yo's mom. Word. That's the front line. She wow. did not like that line. She said, hey, why do you have to just disagree with okay. being a ho? You know, she <laughs> She's, I'm yo yo. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I'm such shit. a lady. Oh, like everybody can't say that, but that, yeah. that, she don't care about the rhyme. She don't care about that. You feel me? She cared about keeping yo yo as a lady and making us respect her. Period. No yes. jive. No jive. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. Wow. Um, your your, your depiction of the, the the depiction of you in the uh, uh, straight out of Compton um movie. Um, were you involved? What, nah, were you, what are your thoughts? I didn't have, I didn't have, um, can you I didn't talk, have talk to us about that? the movie because I trusted that Gary Gray. You know, I Gary Gray, his first debut of being an artist, of being a director, is Dress Code. Dress Code is Dub Seeds, which is my song. So his debut oh. at doing Straight Outta Compton is also, I'm a part of his debut at becoming a director. So wow. you remember when he walked okay. and he had the X hat on? We gonna go you out like who Malcolm? Uh, I think he did Steady Mobbing too. Gary Gray. Okay. So at the end of the day, they seen me more than I seen myself. So how could I depict somebody that that's dope? You know what I'm saying? They they might I might change the way they look at me. I I can't tell a person okay. I'm one thou wow, bro. I ain't never changed. Everybody tell you I've been the same way. So how could you get something else out of that? You know what I'm saying? Like, even the homegirl that did the mute, that did the wardrobe, Kenya, the homegirl Kenya, she called me and said Jinx had the most expensive dress. I mean, the expensive wardrobe because that character changed clothes all the time, and most of the other people just wore the same thing. So that was. Now Kenya is that's the, Kenya is that Dad's yes. ex-wife or something um, like that? Yeah. Okay. The same kid. All right. I'm, yeah, I'm, she she did okay. the wardrobe for Straight Outta Compton. So she was sneaking, okay, calling wow. me, and I was talking shit to her on the line. Like, fuck, I don't care about that motherfucking movie. Tell him to wear a clown hat. Tell him I used to wear bell bottoms and King you know, King Kong outfit. Tell him I need a white bitch next to me all the time. You know, and she'll laugh. Oh, no, she that man. Man, just King. She knows me. So, uh, but then she'll tell me, you know, she she didn't ask me nothing. She uh. Uh, just was happy after the fact that she took an in 
initiative to dress Sir Jinx the way she knew, not like she didn't like she was dressing like Q Tip or somebody. Like I don't know if she know him, but you get what I'm saying. Like you don't know him personally, and everybody that know me, right, uh, mixed uh, 20 years into that movie because I had braces years later. So that would be. If, if they was doing okay. straight out of Compton when Dre was living with us, I was 16 years old. So I was 27 mm. or something when I got braces. So it's just funny how I, 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 everybody okay. think I had braces <laughs> since I was a kid, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but look, look then even wow. yeah, so you was look, then the, as a teenager. Kenya told me that that was almost second to expensive next to Easy's wig. So Easy's wig was the the one of the most Word. expensive things on the thing. And then the guy getting the braces. So he had to get fake braces. <laughs> so oh. so that hey okay. so that, damn, I didn't even catch that. I didn't even forgive me. I didn't even catch that. They were trying hard. They were trying hard. They were trying hard to draw okay. me. Wow. <laughs> but I loved it, man. And a lot of things can't say they say, How did I like the movie? I say a guy acting like me in the movie, and I, I just only have to say, uh, that's the first person that got paid to do it. Mm. That's nothing to me. Wow. I see that every day. I'm supposed to make okay. people mimic me. Now they're going to make a blueprint. Yeah. Where, where are you supposed to be at? You know, life? and it's just... Okay. I mean, I'm just, just seeing, you know, the, the setting of it and, you know, how, how they showed everything. And me just imagining, I can literally imagine then that kind of setting happening in the house. you in your house. You got Dre in there. Y'all y'all playing on the turntables. Ice Cube come in with a with a notepad. You know, me, me just being a former DJ back when I was in high school. And how hey, we would it put was it down. So, I was like, man, it was so, so authentic. It was so organic. I don't want to be corny with that word. But it was so... Dope because on the other side of town, around the corner, had Jimmy, my homeboy Fat Jack. Fat Jack is DJ. He's DJ for my um, ex clan, and Fat Jack go oh, wh- goes with uh, um, DJ Slip, made the LA Sound Control. So LA Sound Control got their thing going okay. on. Wrecking Crew got their thing going on. So Wild what? Style, the hip hop group. Wild Style out here, one of the best breakdance groups out here. That was over there with Jimmy. So Jimmy had the New York scene at his house. Like his father allowed people to come in, to not be on the street and be in their backyard. So <clears throat> that was pretty a rough backyard. And we talking about with breakdancing and stuff like this going on and a big hangout. So shout out to Jimmy for making that happen. So then Jimmy and and um, DJ Slip, you know, they used to, you know, do parties all over the place. So you had that going on. And then a shout out to my homeboy, uh, 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 the Rapporteurs. The Rapporteurs were a rap group that's like our Run DMC back in the day. Johnny J- Jolly Jolly Joe okay. and the Rapporteurs. You feel me? So that was going on. So then. This is all before us. So then you got Jolly Joe, the Rapporteurs, and then you got these girls called the Romulettes. And then the Romulettes give birth to Silky Fine. So this is where Silky Fine comes into the picture. I've right. heard of Silky so Fine. Silky Fine okay. came in at, at Henry Clay, Washington. She, she was there the whole time. So her and Yo-Yo, she older than Yo-Yo. So Yo-Yo came out first. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So you got oh. Silky Fine oh. over here. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, Satasha. So Satasha, she right there. Satasha go and do the stuff with Candyman. She see, you remember I told you, Yo-Yo was with Candyman at first. So Satasha is Yo-Yo's cousin. Yeah. So she's still with Yo-Yo, with 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 uh with 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 Candyman. This is this is what makes her do the oh boy, I love you so on the what you call it. So that's Satasha. Mm-hmm. So now Satasha move over and now Satasha thug is work as so that's Yo Yo cousin. So everybody doing it. I swear to God, man, oh. man like everybody around oh. us was doing it. And that's two times, times over with wow. Yo Yo cousin, oh. William, that went to Washington. So all these we went to Washington. Okay. Right, Washington. That's the high school. That, that's that's the the high school 
that man they they said that was if, if we would have to look at a performing art school to see how many people came from that performing art school and we're not talking at washington or performing art school we saying all at the same time we're not saying from the 80s right because they said patrice russian went there so we we can we can spar with any high school in the world period i don't think they got michael salisbury he's uh, uh from portrait he 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 went there uh okay um paperboy the diddy song do i did it do, do i did he okay. he went to washington okay he went to washington. wow um south, south central cartel went to washington okay um, okay dub c went to washington yo 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 went oh. to washington so we okay. fine with Washington. So they, right. they just start falling down, like you know what I'm saying? Like uh Gary Gray went there. So you gotta look at the time something man in the water at that. It, it's more people, uh and then we we're not even talking about just people, we talking about people that made personalities. So out of the situation, you remember with the Clippers, it was a dude named Clipper Durrell, right? He was supposed to be okay. like the little the the mascot. Or the, or the Clippers a long time ago before they changed over to the new owner. Anyway, he went to Washington too. So it's like a whole bunch of people that went to Washington. And it's a lot of people. I know people are going to be like, oh man, you forgot to say this nigga name. But at the end of the day, the camaraderie of everybody being around sharpened everybody to be on this crazy level. Because I would get in the car with DJ Slip and, and, and Chucky up. One of them people that was the L.A. Sound Control go all the way and do Dominguez, uh, Compton Dominguez, Compton Dorsey, Compton whatever. So when we get to that school, high school, to perform at lunchtime, play the music, this is where I meet, meet Chill, CMW, MCA. So, right. Yeah. So all these people are at the schools that we going to. So right. back in them days, I say 16, 17. So we, we do manual arts. So guess what? DJ Slip, it's in the books, bro. All this is in the book, in the, in the history books. These guys yeah. don't lie. So DJ Slip and them, they doing high schools and junior high school. So they do manual arts, junior high school. And this is where Ice T, me and Ice T been having these conversations about he used to ride a motorcycle okay. up there and perform for lunchtime for a Man, your arts. Like, who the fuck wow. would have thought I see who drive? So I was saying it funny if I see rode a motorcycle up to the the star thing, but nobody knows that about him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was just a quick on the motorcycle type guy. Woo woo. So me and him go that 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 far back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And these is yeah. and we still keep up with each other. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have to keep up with me. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they don't have a reading stuff. They don't, they don't have to keep up with me. So everybody plays a place in the, in the future where we're going. We're all going to be comic book figures. Man. You know what I'm Real saying? talk. Just like you, you look, know what at, saying? Just like you look at the, the Frank Sinatra days. And you know that the Sammy Davis Jr. has a distinctive look. You know, the Tony... You know the blue Absolutely. eyes. You know, and then yep. you know the funny thing is with the with the with the uh, Frank Sinatra, the Frank Sinatra we know is not the Frank Sinatra the other what they're talking about. Like we came in with old Frank Sinatra. We not coming in with boo 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 boo. Like I didn't know that that cartoon yeah. figure of uh, Frankie is Frank Sinatra in the cartoon. Oh, okay. Frankie, that's Frank Sinatra. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, why? Wow. Right, right, right. right. Deep, but deep, we didn't bro. see him in the fifties because we wasn't live. So when the boo, no, I'm on the singer, not at all. About the moon and the jungle, and that's all the cartoons that they depicted of him being a another creature. He was an okay. owl or something. I don't know. It, you know, it was something. <laughs> but you know, just think in the future when you look at Snoop Dogg and and, and him being a Doberman. You know what I'm saying? And then they they're gonna make a a, a a movie with Snoop being that dog in the Snoop Dogg video where he turned into the the, the Doberman 
That you got you you gotta yeah. put Snoop in the Doberman movie. You remember the Dobermans that train to rob the banks and shit? You remember that movie? Everybody remembers that movie. It was it was a movie. Uh, the Hold Dobermans. Up. It's called Doberman or some shit. Like like he was I, I, and I, and I, I don't know. I'm not getting out. These remember. dudes train Dobermans to go into the bank and and rob the bank. It's a movie, but what I'm saying okay. is that's the future right. for Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he it's Snoop Dogg is gonna be Bugs Bunny, man. You, you feel me? Like, he he is already Bugs Bunny. You can see Snoop Dogg as a cartoon. They say anytime you see a human as a cartoon character, they're humongous. So you can put Snoop Dogg in any kind of scenario, dress any kind of way, and you will fucking get it. Yeah, yeah he does, and brother, he does. This motherfucker's selling sketches right now. Oh, I do man, not believe I, he wears I, sketches. I, I rock some sketches with Snoop Dogg, rock him. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying for, for all intents and purposes, but like to, to the point of, like you're saying, you can put him anywhere, and he going to just right, I mean, make I'm it happen. Saying, but that's just yeah. everybody that's around us. So if you feel that same energy, then Snoop Dogg can do it. You don't need Snoop Dogg to help you. They giving it to Snoop Dogg. Oh, it's called Doberman Gang, <laughs> the movie. Yeah, he said he's too young. Yes, I, I guess I am too young. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here like I don't think I've ever seen. You got to go watch that. The you know, like, Third, the Precinct Thirteen. Man, you got a lot of work to do to get your game up, man. Yeah, brother. Listen, I, I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't even born. born when people in a lot of that reasons. came out. I had to catch no, it. No, I don't. You can't use that as a defense <laughs> that you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing about the Bible. I Nobody was born then. <laughs> you read that. You read True that. Indeed. You read True that every day. True indeed. <laughs> you write about that. <laughs> Dang, well, he got me. Back <laughs> back. The movie came out in the early seventies. Right. 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 But it's just so dope, the thing with yes, Snoop yeah. Dogg. And then, you know, and then Snoop Dogg is going to need a a, 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 um, a villain. Like, is Snoop Dogg going to be the villain? Mm. Or is Snoop Dogg going to be the, like, 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 like uh, Bugs Bunny? Like, like, wh who is his porky pig? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who is his that be the, the, It has to happen. Yeah. He has to. Yeah. Not gonna let right. Snoop stay up there that long where I'll start picking out of his bunch and other characters that come with I, you know what I'm saying? Like I get what you're saying. Gotta have an, an what right, call it, an right, antagonist. Right, right, an antagonist. I believe that's the word. Of course. So we they did have an antagonist and they destroying the hell out of her right now. And that's the Jada Pinkett. Did they she she shouldn't have went against Snoop Dogg. Oh she shit. went against Snoop Dogg, bro. So to get Snoop Dogg to break down like that, you got to be able to take it too. So, oh man, yeah. her her whipping is her lashings are are, are, are are very vast. That that's not gonna go away. Right. That well, can I? Is there something else I can I can talk ahead, to you Jerry, about? Man, you know, we we um I've I've had I've had the privilege, you know, to to have messages with you back and forth. You know, thank you, thank you once again for joining me today. It's a, it's an honor yes. as a fan um, of hip hop and of your work. Um, you were uh, messaging me about, I guess, the, the from my understanding, the, the lawsuit with with Ice Cube and royalties yeah, or something man, of that nature. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm just, I'm just, all right. Fair enough, brother. That's Fair not enough. Positive. Say no more. This, we we no. were talking positive uh, I, I, about okay. the future. That that I, shit ain't. I want to know what's going on. Fair enough. I want, I'm not trying to be negative. I just know oh, we're sharing communication. I didn't think you were being negative. I was, negative, sure I was just saying, let's not be negative. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. I'm now. I'm with you. I don't. I don't want to do the negative stuff either. That's, and, not, and, that's definitely and not definitely what my platform was about. And at the end of the day, if we're uh, speaking on it, and in that sense, y'all made history was, together, bro. There is a future. If we're speaking, if that is not a reason to have a conversation, then there might be a future. You know what I'm saying? Because that conversation is over. You feel me? So whether okay. it be no conversation, okay. yes, sir. or whether it be conversation on the table, that's all in the future. And it sounds like something on the table. It sounds like it. Why, why would you not do it? I mean, brother, 
Y'all brothers made so much history together, man. Um, right. so much magic, so much timeless material. But once again, we all um, have to adapt you know, to this uh, adult, uh, friendly music, a uh, music that's more um, age appropriate. You know, to the day. As a lot of things I don't believe in, a lot of things I don't c in encourage other people to do. How to have fun? I I'm not in college. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do beer drinking. 